Why are people okay with giving birth to heavily disabled children? Grief is weird. Sometimes people stay in denial about what's happening, or just hope it'll be okay in the end after all. If she could go back in time, knowing what she knows now, she might have made a different choice. One of the various reasons I am not interested in having children is because I know that I would not be capable of caring for a heavily disabled child, and that's just part of the roulette of creating life. I could not imagine looking into my child's eyes knowing that I chose to bring them into the world knowing that they would suffer. Cause they're attached to the kid already, believe, maybe naively, they can give it a fighting chance at life, have maybe suffered birth loss before, religious reasons, ignorance, it won't be as bad for us, religious reasons, family pressure, etc etc. I had this conversation with my mom yesterday and she thinks I'm a horrible person. Well I'm not sure about one kid but I have a co-worker proudly saying he has five grandchildren from the same daughter all with very bad disabilities, you know, one might be about love, religion etc but five. Is total ignorance emo. I don't know, because as someone who is disabled and actually has genes that are terrible to pass on. This is one big reason I chose not to have children. I wasn't going to do that to them or me. As someone with a birth defect that has a wide range of prognoses, I think people see success stories and think, that's how my kid will be. I see so many parents of kids with the same condition I have who glory in saying, the doctors told us to abort, that our child wouldn't walk, talk, be potty trained, etc. But look how wrong they were. I'm pro-choice including when parents know they will have a disabled child if they carry to term. On the one hand, one should become a parent only if they're prepared to have a disabled child. As disability can happen at any point, but knowing how to prepare and then actually being adequately prepared is difficult because you just don't know. As I said earlier, you can have two children with the same disability but wildly different prognoses. Multiple possibilities here. People can be heavily attached to a baby before they are born. Going for abortion isn't an easy decision at all. They don't want to do an abortion because of religion or any other. Possibly health-related. Reason. They somehow have hope that their child will eventually manage. Even though that's not the case most of the time. It's not necessarily religion. As an expecting parent. Deciding to have an abortion because your child is likely to have a disability can feel like you are giving up on your child. You may have already formed a connection with them emotionally, and terminating a pregnancy may feel the same as abandoning your child. My wife's older son is autistic and developmentally disabled. That's not something she knew in advance though. She finally had to put him in a group home because she couldn't handle his needs while working and also raising her younger son. We do visit him regularly but he's only somewhat aware we're visiting. He's in his own little world and actually seems happy. I don't think he has the mental acuity to realize he's different. So it may not be as cruel as you think depending on the issues and level of understanding the person has. I don't have an answer. But I overheard a friend talking about someone he knew in the military that all five of his kids were disabled. Five. But then got kicked out of the military because medical bills were way too high and TRICARE didn't want to cover it anymore. At some point did he and his wife not think to get genetic testing done? Were they just gonna keep going until they had a child that wasn't disabled? I have so many questions. Iceland has it figured out terminating pregnancy because the child will have a moderate to severe disability is common practice there. I could never bring a child like that into this world. I am 16 weeks. And I am attached to my avocado. That being said, if I found out he would be born with no quality of life due to severe disabilities, I would abort. I would be upset obviously. 
but I can try again. If the kid was born, I am sure I would love it. But that isn't the point. Kids like that are better off aborted. Sounds harsh, but it is true. Having been through a miscarriage I can fully understand how someone wouldn't want to give up on a pregnancy regardless of any amount of warning from medical professionals. At the time of making those decisions I also doubt they could reasonably be expected to see the effects on their lives 11 plus years into the future either. Before I type my response, the amount of edge in these responses saying it's religion or magical thinking never ceases to amaze me. Reddit is an interesting place. Here's my answer. Because they are human and can already form an emotional bond with their unborn, soon to be disabled child. People act like everyone has to be emotionless and 100% rational and abort their child. And while it makes sense to some people it doesn't make sense to others. You or myself can think it's irrational to care for a disabled child. But to the parents the child can mean the world to them. Maybe they should abort. But it's on the parents to decide not us. When my mom was pregnant with me she was told I was at high risk for downs. She didn't want to mess with the risk of the procedure where they take amniotic fluid because she said it wouldn't change her decision. She was going to have me either way. I guess she was already in love with the idea of me and willing to take on that challenge. I was born normal. I can't say I would have made the same call in her position. I dunno. I wouldn't. The wife and I discussed this at length. We decided that we'd be on the first plane to Sweden. I think it was Sweden. To have an abortion if we found out our baby was going to be malformed. Or retarded. Or severely disabled. That never happened. Thankfully. We have three kids. Perfectly healthy. Something to keep in mind is that a lot of people don't find out their children will be severely disabled until late in the pregnancy, past the point where abortions are legal, at least in the US. After that, what do you do but accept the hand you've been dealt? Because people tend to bury their heads in the sand when presented with bad news. Also doctors can be wrong. I'm not dead. 1965 pre-birth diagnosis. And our second child does not have spina bifida. 2002 pre-birth diagnosis. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.